Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage groups in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Administration Portal. We will look at the steps to manage group owner settings for a group and also how to add a group to another group. First, we need to access and log into the Azure Active Directory Portal. You can access it using the URL as GPS colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure Active Directory Admin Center, under Favorites, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with Global Administrator role for this video. Under Manage, click on Groups. Azure Active Directory groups are owned and managed by group owners. Group owners can be users or service principals and are able to manage the group including membership. Only existing group owners or group managing administrators can assign group owners. Group owners aren't required to be a members of that group. When a group has no owner, group managing administrators are still able to manage the group. It is recommended for every group to have at least one owner. Once owners are assigned to a group, the last owner of the group cannot be removed. Please make sure to select another owner before removing the last owner from the group. We have two test groups for this demo, test group 1 and test group 2. Select the group for which you want to add an owner. For this example, click on test group 1. On the test group 1 overview page, click on Owners. On Owners page, select Add Owners. Search for and select the user that will be the new group owner. I'll select a test user 1 as an owner for this group. Click on Select button. Wait for the confirmation. After you select the new owner, you can refresh the owner page and see the name added to the list of owners. We can see test user 1 is there. Using the same steps, you can remove an existing owner from a group. Let me select Manhir Rakulia and click on Remove. On confirmation window, click Yes to remove the selected owner. Now we get the confirmation Manhir Rakulia is no longer an owner for this group named Test Group 1. But still, this user is listed under Owners. We need to click on Refresh. And now we can see only test user 1 is there. So this is how you can add or remove owners for an Azure Active Directory groups. Next, let's see how we can add one group as a member to the another group. We can add an existing security group to another existing security group also known as a nested groups. The member group inherits the attributes and properties of the parent group, saving you configuration time. Now let me close this and now we are on all groups page or select the group that is to become member of another group. Here we will add test group 2 as a member of test group 1. For this video, I am going to click on test group 2. Under manage, click on group membership. On group membership page, select add memberships. Locate the group you want your group to be a member of. It will be test group 1 in our case. Click on select button. The test group 2 is now a member of the test group 1 inheriting all the properties and configuration of test group 1. Uh, let me refresh this page and you can see test group 1. And using the same steps you can remove a member group from another existing group. For that, you just need to select the group and then click on Remove Membership button at the top. That will remove the group from the membership. Uh, let me show you one more thing. Uh, let me close this. Let's click on Test Group 1. Click on Members. And here we can see a Test Group 2 is listed as a member of the security group named Test Group 1. Just like we can add user as a member of the security group, we can similarly add group as a member of any specific group. One more thing which I forgot to cover in the last video, 
uh, from group properties page we can add user or group as a member for that specific security group that is also second method uh, let me show you that method as well let me close this uh, click on users uh, let's select a test user one for example we want to add test user one as a member of the security group test group one let's click on it click on groups and here we can see this user is only member of the security group named content team. We also want to add this user as a member of our test group one. So click on add memberships and select the group. In our case, it is going to be test group one. Click select. Click on refresh. And here we can see test group one is there. So now our user test user one is also member of test group one. And similarly, we can remove membership from user properties as well. So you just need to select the group, click on remove memberships and on confirmation window, click on OK. And that will remove the user from that security group. So that is the second method. Using this method, we can add or remove user from specific security group. That concludes the video on how to manage group in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.